What's good, y'all? Okay, so first of all, this was a clickbait thumbnail. The MPC One Plus was released today. It's a little bit better than the MPC One, but that's all I got on that. What I'm really doing is checking out Orb Chords Producer Suite Volume 3. I have Volume 1. I did do a video on it way back in the day. If you want to check it out, it's right here. But we about to check out Volume 3. They did send it to me for free. They don't have any input on this video. And I do not get paid for the link that I'm going to put below. I'm just going to put it down there so you can check it out if you want to try it for yourself. I've heard various opinions about the program. I heard it has bugs. I heard it's not very good or whatnot for this new version. I'm just going to check it out and see what it's all about. And y'all going to see the results. Follow me. All right, so now we have the Orb Chords 3 on the screen. It does look a little different from the original. For those who don't know, this is an artificial intelligence program that comes up with its own keys, chords, bass, progressions, and all of that. All you have to do is fine tune it to what your liking is, but it's supposed to be able to create some pretty interesting things just by using the artificial intelligence feature. Now, before we get started, I have not used volume two of this suite never did i only had the first version and this is version three and this is my first time messing with it i'm gonna make sure a doll sync is selected just because it's i want to make sure it's in tempo i'm pretty sure that's what that does um and it already has some chords here let's see what those sound like I don't think that's too bad, actually. Now, let's see if I can figure out. Let's see. Randomize, uh, randomize the selected chord. But it also changes the rest of the chords around it. Let's see what it sounds like now. I want one more chord. Okay. All right, that sound like some superhero vibes right there. Stick with this. Okay. Now, again, just like when I did this the first time, I didn't export it out to the DAW, although I can drag those notes into the MPC. I'm not going to do it. I'm lazy. Pop that up. It's already got a melody. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so off top, I'm not using that. Hell no. Let's see if we come up with something different.
All right. I'm going to go with that. It ain't my favorite, though. But I'm going to go with it anyway. Let's go ahead and go to track three. All right, so now we have... Let's see. Or of arpeggio. that for that i'm not sure the direction this is going right now i'm not it already got something look like a simple bass note let's see go down an octave I gotta be honest, I ain't feeling this right now. I don't even wanna put no drums on us. Let's go back to the orb melody original, cause that's like the master of them all. Oh no, the orb chords. Let's go to orb chords. Still ain't in love with it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to add some drums to it now. So let's go ahead and put this hi hat in there. to that pad let's go to program edit we're gonna keep grouped out give me an f minor
Tempest or Tempest on the chords. Let's see what this sounds like. I can rock with that. They gave it a little bit more presence. Um, I still think I need something else. Almost like a vocal or something. have an idea so I'm not going to use all or plugins for this now before I do this I want to make sure I save it all right there we go now let's go find what I want all right we got a vocal from output XL we're going to drop that in there Let's go ahead and drop some horns in here. Let's go ahead and put this Air Delay Pro on the saxophone with these horns. Just because. Why not? We putting everything. We doing all that.
All right. I think we got something workable now. Took a little while. We got something decent. Let's see if we could try to tame it to get it together. Try to make it cohesive. See if it sounds pretty decent at the end. Now, it's decent. It still ain't my favorite. I kind of want to experiment with it some more. Experiment it. <laughs> I want to experiment with it some more. And so, do one of my old tricks to send everything to a sub mix, except for the drums. I don't want the drums in a sub mix. I don't know. It might come out good. It might be trash. It is what it is. Trying to see if we can come up with something. I don't think I want to. I don't want to send the bass either. Leave the bass where it's at. Okay. Now let's go to our channel mixer. Let's go to the sub mixes. There we go. And we are on sub mix one. And since we're using mostly orb stuff let's go ahead back and we're going to put uh orb tempest on here now will it come out good i have no idea So there you have it. I just used Orb Producer Suite 3 along with Orb Tempest and also some sounds from the contact library. So if you like it, thumbs up. You know what to do. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Uh, again, if you want to try it out, I'll leave all the links in the description somewhere. And that's all I got for today. And as always, I'm out.